Hi! I'm gonna totally regret making this video, I think, but also I'm not gonna talk about anything else today because I can't talk about anything else. I went to work earlier today and nobody, nobody wanted to talk about it because we all had different opinions and it's understandable. Like, I wanted to talk about it so badly, but we all had different opinions and nobody was gonna start screaming at each other at work. That wasn't gonna happen. This is a very controversial topic and I'm not one to talk about controversial things on my channel because it makes me physically and emotionally uncomfortable to do so. I have my opinions and I keep them to myself. I'm not here to bash any Trump supporters whatsoever. You guys went out and voted and chose a candidate that you thought would be best for president and that's good on you. I seriously applaud you for going out and voting for someone who you thought would be good for president. A lot of people didn't go out and didn't make a choice, and you did, so that's good. I, however, have many concerns about Trump becoming my president. Saying it just makes me sad. So I just wanted to voice my concerns, uh, let you guys know what they are in case you guys, some of you, in case some of you feel the same way, just so you know that you're not alone in this, and that's literally all I'm here to do. I'm just gonna voice some concerns. Here we go. The fact that Obamacare is gonna switch over and I'm gonna have completely new healthcare and I have no idea what that is, is terrifying to me. I just switched from one provider to the other and I'm already spending more money than I used to because I had to switch providers. So the fact that the entire system might change right now is terrifying. For me specifically, the major thing that I use it for is my birth control, which regulates my hormones in a way where I can actually function like a normal human being. And if that's not there, and if it doesn't exist anymore, I will be incredibly sad and weakened. When my hormones are regulated and everything feels fine, I'm much more powerful. And if not, then I'll feel weak. And I don't want to feel weak. I don't want that just taken away from me. And other people have more scary things to worry about. That isn't birth control. That's actually like life-threatening things that they need their medication for that might change. And it's scary not knowing what that change will be. Another thing that I'm really terrified for as a woman is I'm scared that cases like Brock Turner's, which already wasn't taken seriously three months in jail, I'm scared that it's not going to be taken at all. I'm scared that these people aren't going to go to jail. I'm scared that these cases won't even be taken to court. Because if Donald Trump talks the way that he does, it makes it okay for other people to talk the way that they do. When I go to parties with my friends, I tend to fall asleep early and we have a system where I'm not allowed to go to bed by myself. Someone's going to come up there with me. so. I either need to wait until someone else is going to sleep or somebody's going to go to sleep with me. One of my girlfriends, obviously. So there's two of us together. So if somebody comes upstairs, nothing terrible is going to happen. And that's such a common practice for people to have. And that's so sad that people have to worry about someone coming in while they're sleeping and having to worry about sexual abuse while being unconscious. And that's such a common practice, and it's not going to be taken seriously. I'm extremely concerned about that. If they were already only getting three months in jail for that, I really don't think it's even going to be taken to court anymore. That's something that concerns me greatly. I don't think I'm going to see equal pay in my lifetime at this point. And yes, I know it's only four years, but I'm not comfortable with backtracking. I don't see equal pay being one of Trump's concerns at all, and it's real. <laughs> when I had gotten promoted at my first job from a Starbucks barista in Target to a team lead in Target, I was not getting the same team lead pay as most people were, and that was because I was the only female doing it, and I was the youngest one doing it. And while I did try and fight for more money, they argued back and I wasn't able to get more money. And that's one of the reasons that I switched over to a new company. I was uncomfortable with that. I'm uncomfortable with getting unequal pay and doing the same amount of work, if not more. These are only a few concerns and I'm sure other people have many other concerns, whether Hillary was president or Trump was president. I'm sure everybody has concerns, no matter which way it was going to go down. If you feel comfortable voicing some of those concerns, you can do so down below in the comments. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna open up the comments section, but why not? I would also like to note that these are concerns that I have for the house mainly and not even for the candidate. My concerns about Donald Trump as a person, totally different thing. This is mainly just talking about the Republican house and not having a Democratic Party present in the White House. Also, I'm speaking as a person of privilege and I'm completely and utterly aware of my privilege right now, being a white female. It is gonna be harder for females, but it's gonna be much harder 
for females of color who are also within the LGBTQ community. And I'm so sorry to all of my friends who have to go through much harder hardships than I'm going to have to go through. It's not fair that you're going to have to fight for rights that you already had. And I'm so sorry to everybody. And I, I don't know what else to say other than that. I don't want to say anything else. I really just wanted to voice my concerns. And I'm sorry if you disagree with anything in this video, truly. And if you have concerns about either candidate, you could put it down below. And I do truly applaud people for voting. Whomever you voted for, good on you for going out and doing so. I'm sorry that these were extremely heavy topics. I'll see you tomorrow and hopefully things will be lighter. I just needed to get things out because nobody in real life is talking about it. It's making me sad. I don't want to go everywhere and just be quiet meanwhile someone's- meanwhile I'm unhappy. I don't want to be quiet while I'm unhappy. I want to voice things. So that's what I'm doing. <sighs> Bye.